Now despite my shirt being blue, we're about to go green. Let's go! So today we have here not one but two TWS earbuds from Razer. Now this here is the Razer Hammerhead True Wireless Earbuds X and this is the same series, also the Hammerhead, but this is the Pro version. So what's the difference apart from the box? So that's where we're going to find out. We're going to quickly unbox these two. Um, I've already cut off the plastic uh, wrapping. Oh, there we go. Okay, so let's start with the, the X first. So for the X, we straight away get the earbuds itself. Spare ear tips. We have these rubber ear tips that improve the grip in your ear so that it doesn't move around a lot. And there's also USB-C cable. So this is for charging. So it comes with the port protectors here as well as the signature Razer Green USB port. Very nice, very nice touch. Um, there is also a sort of a thank you note from Min Liang, who is the co-founder and CEO of the Razer company. There's no one who doesn't know him. As well as the Razer Hammerhead user manual for the earphones. Put these aside. And have a look at the Hammerhead TWS X. So just open this here. And we should just slide that out. I like the matte feeling, it's very nice. It's an all black uh, Kilores earbuds, including the buds itself. Uh, there you go. So you have the Razer logo on the top here, on the top lid. There's also a groove here for you, easier to open the top lid, together with a status LED on the bottom to show you the battery's uh, status or charging status. On the bottom here, there's the USB Type-C port for charging. And no, this doesn't support uh, wireless charging. The hinge is firm. Once you open the top lid, it doesn't close unnecessarily. You know, like sometimes the hinge is so loose that once you open it, it just closes back by itself. So no, it's firm. And the earbuds, let's take them out. You'll immediately notice that these Razer logos on the earbuds are, are I was about to say RGB, but no, they're not RGB backlit. These are just green backlit. Yeah, so they're not like RGB chroma or anything. Um, but still, pretty cool feature to have, but a bit concerned about the battery life, but we'll leave that for the review. Yeah, so these are the Razer Hammerhead TWS X earbuds. Let's have a look at the Hammerhead Pro. So right out of the box, you get the same thank you note from uh, Min Liang. The CEO, as well as a quick guide on the silicone tips that come with the earbuds to make sure that you have the a snug fit that gives you a better audio experience, definitely. And these earphone tips that come with the Pro version is a bit more special and it's not found in the X version. So this one has uh, earphone tips from a company called Comply. So these are premium earphone tips that is uh, specifically for the Hammerhead TWS Pro version. This is what it looks like in the box. You can see that the earbuds are not placed within the charging case. It's separate. Immediately you notice that the earbuds have a thinner, uh, lighter profile. But we'll get to that. This is the charging case, which is actually very similar to the X version, if you compare. But for the X version, it's taller but more narrow whereas the pro version is longer but a little shorter and also included in the box you get the usb type c cable as well as the comply earphone tips so there are actually multiple sets for you to choose from here so be sure to get a, a, the right and snug fit for the most enjoyable audio experience really because if your fit is not uh, comfortable or if it's not the right fit then you may not enjoy the audio as much it doesn't bring out the full potential of the earbuds that's all in the box you also get the Razer sticker as usual but this isn't the, the hollow version it's just the uh, normal Razer green version okay sticker is a sticker obviously while these two earbuds may look the same they are actually pretty different now let's start with the Hammerhead X. So the most noticeable difference is of course the green backlit which is on each of the earbuds here and as well as the overall glossy uh, finish 
on the earbuds. And as for the audio driver, the X version of the Hammerhead EWS does use a 13mm uh, driver and this doesn't come with ANC or known as active noise cancellation. So this doesn't have that and it uses a 13mm driver whereas the Hammerhead Pro does have advanced ANC built-in but it only uses a 10mm driver. Also, the Pro version doesn't have any of that green backlit uh, Razer logo. It's just a standard Razer logo with no backlighting. Of course, there's also the Comply Premium earphone tips that is included with the Hammerhead Pro version. So in terms of similarity, both of these earbuds, the Pro version and the X version, they both feature USB Type-C connectivity. They both have Bluetooth 5.2. They both have the 60 millisecond low latency gaming mode, which is part of the Razer's signature feature to help gamers uh, game without any delay. They both feature touch controls, which can be customized with the Razer audio app. And yeah, that's pretty much the similarities. They do share the same similarities, but the differences are pretty far apart, especially with the Pro version having the THX certification for higher res audio. So if you're looking for something that is you know, top of the line, has the best audio performance, like wireless audio performance, I would say the Hammerhead Pro version is definitely for you. But if you want something that's more affordable, uh, something that's more flashy, kind of like you need, you need something to go with your style, and you still want that great sound, the Razer Hammerhead EWS X version is right up your alley. So in terms of design, the Pro does have a matte finish, which gives it a smooth appearance and feel, whereas the X version has a glossy, more grippy finish on the earbuds itself. And if you look closely, the Pro is actually an in-ear design, whereas the X version is a more open design, similar to the Apple AirPods. So that is all for the Razer Hammerhead TWS Pro and the TWS X version of these earbuds. Now we are working on a review of these earbuds on the AXO.com, so do stay tuned for that when it drops. My name is Terry. Thank you guys for watching till the end of this video. Don't forget to like this video if you like it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, I will catch up on with you the next time.